Hi, right, good morning. You're watching today in Parliament with me, Ashwara Kapoor. Let us take a quick look at the Parliament headlines. Three days left for monsoon session of Parliament to end. Two short duration discussions slated in the Rajya Sabha. Discussion on recent MSP hike for Kharif crops and agriculture sector challenges, and also on the, the state of the Indian economy. The Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Amendment Bill 2018 in Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha has cleared the bill seeking to overturn Supreme Court order against immediate arrest of accused under SCST Act. National Sports University Bill in Rajya Sabha. Union Minister Rajyavardhan Singh Rathore to move bill aimed to establish a first of its kind specialized national sports university in Manipur. Lok Sabha has cleared the bill. And several important bills in Lok Sabha, bills related to GST amendments in lower house, Piyush Goel to move for consideration and passage. Three more sittings remain in the ongoing monsoon session of Parliament and heavy legislative agenda is slated today in both houses. Two short duration discussions are slated to be taken up in the Rajya Sabha today, one on the recent rise in MSP of Kharif crops and the second on the state of the Indian economy. As far as the bills are concerned, the SCST Prevention of Atrocities Amendment Bill 2018 that was cleared by the Lok Sabha is to be taken up. Also, the National Sports University Bill and the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code Second Amendment Bill are also slated to be taken up in the Upper House. And the Lok Sabha will today take up the CGST Amendment Bill 2018, the IGST Amendment Bill 2018, the UTGST Amendment Bill 2018 and the GST Compensation to States Amendment Bill 2018. The Lower House will also take up the Representation of the People Amendment Bill 2017. In the Rajya Sabha today, there will be further discussion on the short duration discussion on recent increase in MSP for Kharif crops. The discussion will also include the challenges in the agriculture sector. The discussion was raised by Amit Shah on Tuesday. And there will also be a short duration discussion in the Rajya Sabha today on the state of the Indian economy. Anand Sharma, Prasanna Acharya, K. K. Shiva Rao, Jose K. Mani, Sukhendu Shekhar Roy, Manoj Kumar Chha, Ahmed Ash Ashwak Karim and uh, Misha Bharti will raise the discussion. The focus of this discussion will be with particular reference to the falling investments, uh, the decline in the manufacturing sector and rising unemployment. We have with us our colleague Kriti Mishra joining us from Parliament. Kriti, now three more sittings remain in the monsoon session and today two short duration discussions are to be taken up in the Rajya Sabha. Also, there is a heavy legislative agenda. Well, that's right, Aishwarya. So remember last Thursday also, the discussion on agriculture remained inconclusive and yesterday also when the discussion was going on, there were disruptions in the House by the TMC members. So the discussion remained inconclusive. So today also uh, it is expected that this discussion, this short duration discussion would be taken up uh, in the Rajya Sabha. Remember the BJP is expected to highlight many schemes for the welfare of the farmers including increased availability of urea, the irrigation facilities and also the insurance scheme and particularly the rise in MSP by almost 150% uh, covering as many as 14 Kharif crops. Uh, there's also another short duration discussion on the state of economy, uh, unemployment or also investment in manufacturing that would be raised uh, by Anand Sharban. As you said that uh, there are other important bills that are lined up uh, so certainly uh, there are many bills that are expected to be taken up uh, in the Rajya Sabha today. So there's a scheduled caste and scheduled tribes prevention of atrocities bill, there's national sports university bill, there's also insolvency and bankruptcy court bill and there's also homeopathy central council amendment bill. So certainly a very heavy legislative agenda as far as the Rajya Sabha is concerned. Eshwarya? And Akriti, there's also the 12 noon deadline today for the filing notices for of motions for election to the post of deputy chairman of Rajya Sabha. Well, that's right. So 12 noon would be the deadline for the nomination. Uh, remember, the government has pushed for consensus uh, for uh, the uh, for uh, deputy chairman of the Rajya Sabha. In fact, yesterday, the JDU also held parlays uh, with the, the BJT to 
for uh, seeking support uh, for the candidate uh, Harivansh. In fact, after three rounds of deliberations, the opposition yesterday decided that the Congress uh, would uh, pitch its nominee. Remember, the NCP and also uh, the nominated members, they pulled out of the race, and it is expected that BK Hari Prasad of the Congress uh, would be the nominee of the opposition. So certainly a very uh, interesting contest would emerge, because remember, Ashwara, as far as uh, the NDA is concerned, the strength of NDA in the Rajya Sabha is around 93, and the strength of the opposition is around 113. And for securing the position of Deputy Chairman, 123 uh, votes are needed. Uh, so the government is absolutely confident that the numbers are on its side, because remember, Almost uh, 37 uh, members, the fence sitters, would decide the fate, and the government is confident that it will get the support of uh, the members for its candidate. Eshwarya? Right. Uh, very co interesting contest to be seen uh, tomorrow. Thank you so much, Akriti, for all those updates there. And uh, let's uh, get you more details on the legislative agenda and uh, the schedule cast and the schedule tribes prevention of atrocities. Amendment Bill 2018 will be moved in the Rajya Sabha today. The bill seeks to amend the schedule cast and schedule tribes prevention of atrocities act in 1989. The union cabinet had approved it last week after the government decided to bring a constitution amendment bill in parliament to restore the original provisions of the SCNA. ST Act and the new bill seeks to nullify the Supreme Court judgment pronounced in March this year, according to which immediate arrest of an accused under the SCST Act would no longer be mandatory. The arrest was to follow a preliminary inquiry by a probing agency or the police. The bill has been passed by the Lok Sabha. Also, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, Second Amendment Bill 2018, is slated to be taken up in the Rajya Sabha today. Finance Minister Piyush Goel will move the bill to further amend the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code 2016. It has been passed by the Lok Sabha. The bill brings a major economic reform by allowing a person buying a home or a commercial space to be termed as a financial creditor. The IBC amendment also makes it easier for the banks to agree on salvaging a failed firm from being wound up by lower the votes needed for taking critical decisions to 66% from 75%. The IBC allows a maximum of 270 days for the lenders to clear a rescue plan, failing which the defaulting company will go into liquidation. And Sports Minister Rajavardhan Singh Rathore will move the National Sports University Bill 2018 in the Rajya Sabha. The bill seeks to move for leave to establish and incorporate a National Sports University in the state of Manipur. It will be a specialized university, first of its kind, to promote a sports education in the area of sports sciences, sports technology, sports management and sports coaching, besides functioning as the National Training Center for Select Sports Disciplines by adopting best international national practices. It has been cleared by the Lok Sabha. And Shripa Deso Naik will move uh, the Homeopathy Central Council Amendment Bill 2018 in the Rajya Sabha. The bill seeks to replace uh, the Central Council of Homeopathy with a Board of Governors. It aims at bringing accountability and quality in the homeopathy education system in our country. And in the legislative business in the Lok Sabha, Finance Minister Piyush Goel will move the Central Goods and Services Tax Amendment Bill 2018, the Integrated Goods and Services Tax Amendment Bill 2018, the Union Territory Goods and Services Tax Amendment Bill 2018, and the Goods and Services Tax Compensation to the States Amendment Bill 2018. Shiv Pratap Shukla will move uh, the banning of uh, Unregulated Deposit Schemes Bill 2018. Ravi Shankar Prasad will move the Representation of the People Amendment Bill 2017 to amend the Representation of the People Act 1950 and the Representation of the People Act 1951. He will also move the Arbitration and Conciliation Amendment Bill 2018. And the following ministers will lay papers on the table in the Rajya Sabha. Rajnath Singh for the Ministry of Home Affairs. Dharmendra Pradhan for the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Santosh Kumar Gangbar for the Ministry of Labour and Employment. Kiran Rijiju for the Ministry of Home Affairs. Jayant Sinha for the Ministry of Civil Aviation. and uh, Ajit Amta for the Ministry of Textiles. And the following ministers uh, will lay papers in the Lok Sabha today. Manoj Sinha for the Ministry of Communications. 
एस एस आलूवालिया फॉर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी राजेन गोहेन फॉर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवेज वीके सिंह फॉर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एंड वीरेंद्र कुमार फॉर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स एंड द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट इन द राज्यसभा फॉर विच मिनिस्टर्स कंसर्न विल गिव देयर रिप्लाईज हेयर आर अ फ्यू ऑफ दैम Prabhat Jha will ask the Minister of Textiles when he whether any plan or proposal of a Bihar government regarding setting up of uh, Mithila Hat on the lines of uh, Delhi Hat is under consideration of the Ministry of Textiles. Raj Kumar Dhut will ask the Minister of Home Affairs whether it is a fact that various uh, crimes in particular snatching rapes and uh, killings of uh, senior citizens and others have increased many fold in the national capital territory of delhi viplav thakur will ask the minister of petroleum and natural gas that the number of uh, cng distribution centers which have been set up so far and are proposed to be set up in himachal pradesh bhuvneshwar kalita will ask the minister of petroleum and natural gas whether it is a fact that the gas authority of india limited has planned to extend the ambitious pradhan mantri urja ganga natural gas pipeline project to guwahati to connect the northeastern region with the grid ambika soni will ask the minister of home affairs that the number of women prisoners lodged in prisons in the country in the last 3 years that's it in this edition of today in parliament do stay tuned the proceedings of the upper house are going to commence in a while from now thanks for watching